welcome back here once again everyone now jackson hyde is a complicated character i mean this is why i mean when they brought out jackson hyde was you know the whole thing with um calder from um young justice the tv series i didn't make you know they couldn't do the same name that they brought out jackson hyde i never liked jackson hyde I thought he came off as kind of whiny and annoying and possibly psychotic at times. He uses power to torture, you know, people. It's it's not it's not good at all. Some people, some, some people thought the character was interesting. I know it was going to fail because they're grooming Jackson Hyde to take over as the new Aquaman, or I think he already is Aquaman. He and Aquaman are sharing title in that whole Aquaman series that didn't even last. Like I think they don't even think it lasted five good issues before they decided to cancel that because nobody, literally nobody, was buying that god awful book. But Gary Witter, who's writing Batman Fortress, and when he came in some hot water over that whole thing in the first issue where Batman basically kind of supporting Antifa and leaving people to riot and destroy things and he's like, not my problem, they have insurance, they have better things to do. People were like, no, come on, that's, that was, that, that's not Batman at all. Well, you know, he decided himself, why not go after another hero? And who better than, you know, everybody's favorite little lunatic Jackson Hyde. So apparently, in issue number five of Batman Fortress, we find that um, it, 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 it's sort of it's sort of in Barbados, right? And Jackson Hyde is there with some some guy, um, Wade, who apparently from Central City, but he's stranded there now after the whole. Because apparently in, in this whole comic, the, 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 all the lights have gone out, all the power has gone from everything, and Superman is missing. And Batman's trying to find him to, to um, restore the power and find what happened to Superman. The whole nine years of parody with some aliens or something like that. Now, that. That would have been a really cool, you know, story. But do they do that? Of course not. They find a way to keep making it worse and ridiculous. So anyway, Jackson Hyde had meet up with this guy away from Central City. You know, clearly they have their little flirtatious gating going on because of course, Every every person that um, every new character that, that, that DC creates now, this has to be a member of the Alphabet community. Jackson Hyde is no different; he's gay, right? That's big shocker there. So he and Wade are hanging out on the beach and thing, and they go for a walk down by the moonlight and all kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, now these guys show up and they're all, "Hey, lover boys, yeah, you heard me take your pride parade someplace else. It don't belong on our beach." And, you know, I mean, okay, nothing about that is good. I'm going to make that very clear, that very clear. There's nothing that is right about these people doing this, this kind of behavior is not, um, you know, is not acceptable. It's not right. People don't like it. It should not be tolerated. This kind of bigotry is wrong. What people do is their own business. And yes, they, they should not have been doing it. And, I, and I'm not in support of this kind of behavior at all. However, what happens is, is the really disturbing part, right? I mean, you know, here, here, here's, what, here's what Jackson Knight has to say. Okay, two things. First, it's not your beach. It's nobody's beach. Like the ocean, it was here long before you were born. It will be here long after you're dead. And they're all, well, we ain't going nowhere until you two have taken a beating. So what's the second thing? Second thing is if you're going to pick a fight with me, smarter to do it farther inland. And he summons a giant tidal wave. Right? Literally a giant tidal wave. And drowns these people in it. You understand me? They're literally, they're drowning while he's making out with his with this guy he just met. I mean, what kind of disturbed psychotic behavior is that? There are so many different ways he could have handled the situation. He could have used his powers to just trip them up or something and make them look stupid. Or he could have, you know, turned the water into some giant warrior and intimidate them and, and just have them pee their pants and run off. 
But instead, you summon a tidal wave and drown them. And while they're drowning there, you're making out with this guy away. What kind of sick behavior is that? Who thinks of this kind of behavior? Why? Why would you even go? I mean, if, if, if you take a look at, let's say, let's say the X-Men, for instance. If the X-Men or, or Mutant or the whole, simply killed everybody who ever said anything bad about them. What kind of what kind of lunatic behavior would that be? And my thing was that somebody at DC looked at it and they said to themselves, you know what, this seems like a good idea to put in this book where Jackson Hyde drowns people. That's it. That, that's really good. Jackson Hyde drowns people because why? These people who are who, are, who come to, who come to beat them up are, are, are homophobes, so they need to be drowned. That's what that's what needs to happen. These guys could have just been drunk and stupid or whatever. You decide you're gonna summon a giant tidal wave and drown them, and while they are being swept away, you know what I mean? you're making out with this guy. It's creepy and disturbing, and he doesn't even look the least bit concerned about what he's doing. It's just perfectly fine for him. He's just okay with doing this. This is why a lot of people, myself included, consider Garth to be the one and only Aqualad. I have no idea what in God they even bring in Jackson Hyde out there anyway. Before, I, I don't know. I did, as I said before, I did like Calder in um, Young Justice, the, the series when it first came out. I, I, when it first came out, it was a complex and, and interesting character. They, they quickly destroyed that. So I'm not even going to talk about, uh, about Calder, but if you're looking at just Aqualad in response to this comics alone, Garth has always been my take for being Aqualad. That's it. Jackson High is a terrible, a terrible, terrible choice. You're literally a psycho. We've seen, we've seen glimpses of that many times before, and now it's confirmed here where you're drowning people while you're just making out with this guy. It's a disturbing, creepy behavior. But that's what you get. Once again, Jackson Hyde is a lunatic. That's what, it's a bloody, creepy, disturbing lunatic. And this is why no wonder that whole Aquaman book flopped so hard. Because you're not helping anybody, you're just being a psycho. That's it. I said before, I said again, Garth, a lot, a lot of people like and consider Garth to be the only Aqualad, myself included. Jackson Hyde? Nah. Eh. You're just bloody crazy. And this kind of thing, and I know people, people are going to say, but, you know, okay. Or, all right, but this is a, but this is an Elseworld story. It's not actually in the main continuity. No, 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 no. This is the omniverse, and they see themselves as saying that everything is connected. Everybody is connected. Everybody is as they. Everybody is as they are. There's no. There's no disconnect between anybody and anything. So this is Jackson Hyde. This is how Jackson Hyde would behave. Bloody psychopath. Let me, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You'll notify every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.